Okay, so I gotta make a bracket support for the uh, turbo gear build because the, it looks like the exhaust pipe to me over time it would end up cracking it or vibrating it so I'm just going to support it just in case for those long distance drives and stuff like that so, so you can see I've already mocked it up I had to grind I'm just basically making so it gives me more contact I think that guy's pretty hot right now so and this guy here my little I don't know why they, they're getting wedged I'm just going to take this now and grind that put a little curve where the support's going to go and it's for the exhaust pipe so just to give it something to sit on the future plan is I've already put the v-band on there so the plan is to come off of that snake around and then come out the center of the Carmigia so and then maybe do like an oval kind of like a Porsche or so uh, so just have an oval exhaust coming out dead center but that's going to be v-band but just in case i thought you know let me put a support on there because i was just now tightening this all up and then i realized when i grabbed this i'm like yeah it's got a little bit of movement and i was originally gonna make the support come off of here which i'll probably still do come off of here so when the pipe mix comes underneath and makes the curve i'll support it right there but uh it'll be pretty close to the center line of the bolt just so you know and then uh this right here will just be supporting this now, obviously, I mean, common sense is going to be that you're going to put the small tab, I like to do it this way, a small tab on the supporter, basically, and then the big tab on the hanging one, and then put the big tab on top, of course, so that the weight is pushing down on it. That also allows you to get this in and out, if it, because if I put it underneath, it's going to be pretty hard to unbolt it. <laughs> okay, right. got that on there. It came out good. Next, I'm going to start working on the valve covers, and I, oh, I bolted this up officially. Uh, I got to run the boost line over to the turbo outlet, and also I need to plumb the regulator into it and the, uh, the port on the front for the actual map sensor. Next. Okay, so now I've got the boost lines all hooked up. So you can see it comes out the side of the turbo. Sorry for the blurring. Comes out the side of the turbo, goes to that first T. And that T, the part that goes under there, comes around up and over and goes to the wastegate. Now I'm just tying this in here for now because this is going to be have to be tied into the body of the car. It's either that or we have got to go up and over and around and come around like this or go all the way around the whole motor and come around. I don't want to do all that. I want to take the shortest path possible so the customer can just attach this to the car, the body there. Because you're it's a Carmi Ghia, so it's going to have an apron right here. All right, besides that, uh, the wastegate's all plumbed and done and plugged. I don't know if you can see. There we go. So we got the plug, plug in there. Uh, it's going to the low side. It's already got set up, so with the low side signal, it's going to be an 8-pound spring or 8 pounds of boost. Uh, then the filter, I put the filter in. This guy didn't have one on this. I don't know where it's at, but I just went ahead and put one in. Um, and then you leave the top open to atmosphere, and that's what the filter is for, basically. Now, if I was running a boost controller, I would tee off of this into controller, out of controller, into this, and that would give you adjustability for even more boost. For now, we're just going to give it to him at 8 pounds of boost. He'll be good. Uh, I've got the other one, so you can see as it goes up, it tees into another one that goes over to the regulator, and then the other one goes over back there. So even though this is port injection, it's going to have injectors on each side, we're going to have the fuel still go the thr through the throttle body to take advantage of the regulator. So the fuel's going to actually come in back here. This is the return, and then go back out here, uh, going back basically. So what's going to actually happen is the fuel's going to come into this injector, bank into those two come across into this injector bank go across and then into here and then through the throttle body which it's not going to be using any fuel up here uh, and then out of the regulator basically going back so it'll be regulated i hear the dog barking so we must be here <laughs> 